beautiful. It's Miss Nikki with Mary Mom and Mogul. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today as I set up my planner for the week of January. Actually, it's going to be the 1st through the 8th. So let's get started. So if you've watched my other weekly plan with me's this is a brand new setup i have switched to the coco daisy vertical layout and the size is a little different as well as the layout so this is closer to a happy planners classic size so it's a little bit bigger than the a5 that i am used to but I wanted to give it a try because I have used the Happy Planner Classic size before. So I wanted to try the vertical layout here. First thing I'm noticing is how beautiful the design is on these pages. And it is going to be a little bit of a challenge to set it up, but let's get started. I've grabbed this grayish blue color. I think it complements this spread very well. And I'm going to start off by grabbing my weekend box, which is my to-do box, as well as my weekday to-do boxes. Now I'm going to try to find a weekend banner. I'm gonna go with this blackish gray weekend banner. In my horizontal layout, I have two pages that I'm able to use for my health and fitness tracking and my self care. Since I don't have that here, I think I'm gonna use my sidebar to house that information. I have this sheet from the Planner Shack, and I think that I'm going to go with this grayish color. And I think this will work okay over there. Since it did not fit, I went ahead and cut it, but I didn't need to cut it as much as I thought because I forgot I don't even record my daily steps in this sidebar. So I'm going to just remove that and I'll be able to have all the other information and it'll fit perfectly. Look at that. It fit perfectly. Now I'm going to grab a box so I can plan out my lunch for the week. I'm going to grab this lilac color. I have these boxes and I'm going to use these to mark my work goal for the day.
Now I'm gonna grab a couple boxes to record the TV shows I plan on watching this week. I'm grabbing this one, which isn't actually a box, because I know there's a premiere on Tuesday. To record the shows, I'm going to grab this grayish blue color. I think it complements these grays very well. I like to plan the shows that I'm going to watch for the week. So it is a reminder when I'm looking in my planner to shut it down, to stop doing so much <laughs> and take a break. I'm going to grab a couple TV icons while I have this open. Friday is my date night, so I'm going to grab a box for that. I'm looking through the Colorful Shapes sticker book by The Happy Planner. I'm gonna grab this purple lipstick tube. I saw this really cute purple to-do sticker, so I'm gonna grab that. I have these boxes that I want to use, but this is actually a strip. I cut one of the boxes out before, and I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and cut it out. I'm actually trying to decide if I wanna use this pink light color or this teal one. I'm gonna go with the teal. Have to go ahead and mark the bills that are due. I have a book club meeting on Friday, so I'm going to use this sticker for that. These are from the Paper Lemonade Company from Etsy. Saturday is my self-care day. So I printed these and cut them with my Cricut, which I can see I'm still tearing the edges. I'm gonna have to go and play with that a little bit longer. But I'm thinking that I want to go with this girl, the stretching girl. She'll be my motivation for Saturday. The boys have basketball on Saturday. So I'm going to use this box to record that. And they have swimming on Thursday. So I'm gonna grab a few icons 
This basketball one is from Beyond Words Craft Company. I grabbed my household sticker book so that I could grab some of the cleaning icons to serve as my, kind of like a dot. Saturday is our movie night, so I'm gonna grab one of these stickers from the Tiny Sticker Book. Now I use these household stickers to help me, instead of using the dots when I'm making these my checklists, but I have these washi dots that I plan on using as well. I'm gonna go with the lighter purple. I think I have everything down as far as the boxes for the things that I have coming up this week, but I do want to put down a little bit of deco. I have these die cuts. I'm going to see if I could use a couple. like this one but I'm gonna split these branches These Bible study stickers are from Paper Crown Planner. On Monday, I'll have the groceries delivered. So I'm gonna grab this bag of groceries from the Planner Essentials sticker book. I grab my Girl with Goals sticker book. This is the accessory sticker book. I'm looking for a couple quote stickers.
I grabbed my blushing and sticker book so I could find a quote to put on this week. I'm going to try this keep on dreaming. That is all for my planning for this week. But before we go, I, I want to show you some of the things that I got from Coco Daisy as a free printable. And I am going to see what I could do with this polar bear. I'm going to use that, the resolutions, and I'm going to use these for now. I am going to first put my glue stick on here, and then I'm going to use some tacky glue to finish it off. So there we are. I just created a polar bear paperclip. And because Coco Daisy does these mirrored images, I was able to just cut them both out and then stick them together. So I'm gonna sit this to the side and let it dry. When I film my plan with me for next week, I'll pull it out so you can see how it dried and if it's holding up. So for this part of the printable, I'm going to leave the three connected because I want to be able to fold them, to unfold them like accordion style. So I have my goals for the year and I'm going to put together a vision board and I'll definitely, um, I wanna share that with you. But this is going to be like a mini vision board, like just for the month, my month's goals. And I was thinking Coco Daisy does something like this in the free printables each month. Maybe I'll be able to recreate this mini or monthly vision board from the free printables but we'll see but already I am excited with how it came out and I'm going to just put it in the front I was gonna just put it in the front, but I want the January to be seen. So I'm going to have to figure out another way of storing this. Normally I just, when I've done something similar to this, I'll just tuck it in one of the pockets, but I am going to think of something else to do for this, but we will see. With that, I believe we are done. I am quite pleased with how it came out. I fumbled a little bit trying to get a new rhythm with this new setup, but I 
like it. I actually was thinking in the middle of planning this that I'm probably going to go back to my horizontal view. But I'm going to give it this month and then I'll decide. Before I go, I want to share with you, I'm going to post my after the pin on my Instagram, but I'm not going to post it right away. I'm going to wait until the, the week has ended and then I'll post how I ended up filling everything out. So make sure that you're following me on there. I'll make sure I leave the link below. And again, thank you so much for joining me. And until the next time, remember, we can manage all the things together. <laughs>